Hello guys, it's Nal here. Today I have a, another Commodore 64 video. Now this will be the start of my main series on the Commodore. And today I'm going to be talking about one of the accessories that you could buy for the Commodore 64. Well preserved, it comes in the form of the 1530 dataset unit for Commodore. Now this was actually quite universal, you could use this with the Commodore VIC-20, Commodore 64 and the Commodore 128 and Amiga series. So a quick look at the box of it, there's the front as you've already seen, there's the sides and the back is just blank. Now, if I open the box up, it would contain the dataset unit, of course, and the instruction booklet. It's the instruction leaflet, 1510 dataset, operating instructions, um, doing an operations test, really useful stuff compared to modern stuff where it's generally just safety warranty and advertisements which I don't know anybody reads so well it's just a waste of trees that have to be cut down to actually make the stuff so if we fly down here is the data set unit itself now back in the 80s especially for those of you who are watching this and like me are in the UK now throughout the 8 bit era Great Britain and Australia in fact were on cassette tapes most likely because um, even today when you're collecting you'll find disk drives are more expensive than the actual computer was itself especially in the case of the Commodore um, so a lot of stuff came on cassette you could really use a disk drive a cassette tape or of course fast load cartridges which to be honest I don't know how common they were I mean I'm having issues finding fast load cartridges on the internet when I look on online sites to buy some but cassette tapes you won't really have any issues like programs a load of programs such as toolbox the oh, it won't focus sorry it won't focus I'm very sorry but toolbox the image system and a app I use called mini office which was a word processor spreadsheet database and graphics which I will talk about in a separate video and you could also use writable cassettes such as this to store your programs on so it came with several buttons on it eject stop forward rewind and play and record where you'd actually save your programs on so I'm actually going to load one up now so Briefly, if I take this away, if I take out Mini Office, this is only a quick demonstration. I'll do a much larger demonstration in the actual video, which is coming soon. So, press eject, I open it up, I insert the tape, then we spin back up to our monitor, and I type in load word for example this is on the word processor and it prompts me to press play on the tape which I do without getting my arm in front of the camera now the screen will go blank for a while until it finds the program then the screen will go blank again and it will actually load the file so do bear with it a sec now this one's actually quite quick to, quick to load sorry unlike some of apps such as the image system I've got three of these, I've got the image system I've got typing tutor and I've got the music system and they all take a full 10 minutes to load from cassette which is obviously not very convenient see it's going blank again because it's found it then it will load it up now obviously it does get very annoying having to wait this long but that's why fast load cartridges were invented, that's why floppy drives were invented. And because floppy disks I think are a lot quicker, I mean sometimes they can be about the same speed which you would find surprising but I found it quite surprising but I've not actually got a floppy disk drive for this and it would take 5 and a quarter inch 
Now, now this is part of the program. That this is the computer's not broken or anything. Don't worry. And I am aware of the lines going down the screen. That's nothing to do with the monitor itself. It's when you try and record an old v not video. What's it called? Oh, it's, it's it's left me. But that's what happens when you try and film an old TV like this. I mean, this is a VHS playing TV. It'll come to me when I stop filming the video, but... So, for example, press F1, and I can type. And to close out to the program, there's actually the power button on the side. Now, is how you close out of things. Probably should wait 30 seconds, but obviously, I don't want the video to drone on, so I haven't got 30 seconds. Now, you can save programs, such as, if I just eject my... And program. You would type in a program. Let's take a pin a good program. And you run that. And you get massive spam. But and stop. Clear screen list it and then read to type save I think we think it's save fingers crossed save press record and play on the tape and then of course we do that but there's nothing in there at the time so we just stop that and the save right on the actual tape recorder will go red so I would like to thank you all very much for watching this video. If you did like the Commodore content, then please do subscribe for more content so you can automatically get notifications, especially if you found this interesting. If you liked it, please leave a like, and if you didn't, please leave some constructive criticism so I can improve. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.